To access your VBout landing page component, you can go to the left panel under landing pages and you'll see landing pages inside pop-ups from the top. On this view, I can create a fresh page or I can view all the existing landing pages that I've have set, I have set up. On this screen, you'll see how many visits as well as how many conversions in case you have embedded forms within those landing pages. You can turn these pages on or off to make them inaccessible to the masses. And on the right, you can access the analytics of those pages, including some extra options like previewing, public preview in case you had this turned off and you still want to have it shared internally for approval. You can make copy of a page, which pretty much copies all the settings and all the forms uh, into a new uh, landing page. Edit. Copy to a sub-account if you have that multi-tier structure and you're managing sub-licenses. You can actually take this whole thing, copy it over. You can attach to, attach to a campaign asset, which is a folder of landing pages and uh, email templates, and uh, etc. That allows you to group your uh, assets together and easily replicate them uh, for different campaign purposes. You can add them to a task or create new ones if you have some team collaboration process. Tracker settings, browser push settings, which you can activate on our landing pages, a very cool feature. Analytics on browser push, heat map data, and the option to delete. So it's a quite rich list of options. Another thing to note, if I hover over these, I can see the preview of these pages. And you'll note an important uh, view here. Not only have the URL for the page, in this case, it's not branded, but if I added my own domain, it will be easy for me to uh, replace this lp.vbt.site with my own URL. And you'll notice they're HTTPS, so they're secured by default uh, through our servers. This particular landing page has an embedded form called HubSpot Alternative, and I can click on it and it takes me directly to all the contacts that converted from that list. Okay. I've removed the contact, so although the conversion is still there, I actually moved the contact out of that list. On the other side of things, if I am using the landing, uh, if I am on my list section, the list will also tell me that this particular form associated with the list is being used in this particular landing page. So the system integrates fully between the list and the pages all together, and this facilitates understanding where leads are coming from and how they're flowing uh, between the top of the funnel to your database uh, and moving forward from there on.